death in the Western world is a real problem. We hush it up. We pretend it hasn't happened. Our morticians, who are very smart commercial operators, know exactly what's expected of them. And they make death just awful by pretending it doesn't happen. The doctors have their bedside now. You see, a doctor is absolutely helpless with a terminal case because he's a, a doctor is by social definition a healer. And he's not allowed to help you die. He's out of role. Even though I mean, he may sneak behind the rules and do it, but, but he's bad, definitely, he's got to heal you. So he's going to keep you indefinitely on the end of tubes and all kinds of things. While there's a certain grave demeanor to all this and all the nurses are so pleasant and so totally distant because they know this is death. And they may be frank with you, that's why they feel distant. It's not that they're not concerned, it's not that they're heartless people, but that they just don't know how to be frank. Like lots of people when they meet a drunk, they don't know what to do with a drunk because uh, he's, not, he's not behaving right. Not behaving right. And so. <laughs> <laughs> when you're dying, you're not behaving right. You're supposed to live. <laughs> see, so we don't know what to do with a dying person. It's like being born. See, when we had birth problems, see, all women used to think that birth had to be painful. It was good for them. It was one of the things you had to suffer. And uh, then the doctors got together and they scratched their heads. And a man called Granty Degreed said, no, birth doesn't hurt. It's natural. All we've got to do is to talk these women into the idea that it doesn't hurt, that all these so-called pains are just tensions. And that uh, birth is great. It's not a disease. It's not really something you ought to go to hospital for. Because you associate hospitals with diseases and sickness. Birth isn't sickness. All right, now let's do some new thinking. What about death? Is death sickness? Or is it a healthy, natural event like being born? Of course it is. So, I mean, a little change in social attitude about this will fortify everybody else. I know very well a skillful priest handling a person dying can do this for them. But he has to talk very, very, very straight. And he has to say, listen, these doctors, uh, you don't, don't you pay any attention to them. They're trying to amuse you and deceive you. You're going to die. This isn't terrible. But it's just going to be the end of you as a system of memories. But the main thing is the attitude that death is as positive as birth and should be a matter for rejoicing because death is the symbol of the liberation. There is a wonderful saying that Ananda Kumaraswan was to quote, I pray that death will not come and find me still unannihilated. In other words, that man dies happy if there is no one to die. In other words, if the ego is disappeared or death caught up. But you see, the knowledge of death helps the ego to disappear because it tells you you can't hang on. So what we need, uh, if, if we're going to have a, a good religion around, that's one of the places where it can start. But that's the thing, to go out with a bang instead of a whimper.